Hey everyone, Dan Gorgone here from Treehouse. We're at the In Control Conference in Orlando, and we're talking with Carl Smith, founder hey of EngineWorks. Carl, thanks for joining us. No, thanks for having me. Yeah, I caught your keynote this morning. Very cool, very inspirational, something that I think a lot of designers and developers, our key audience, uh, would definitely be inspired by. You talked about your experience, very personal experience getting started in the tech industry. Yeah, um, I learned early on how to make money but sacrifice my life for it and uh, later started a company and, and got kind of all sucked up in that and feeling important. And, and basically today I just wanted to share with people uh, the things that I'd learned and, um, and that there really can be balance if you just learn how to let go of certain things. I know that you talked about one of your first experiences was working for a company that you weren't actually working for. You just yeah. sort of walked right in there and started doing things because you wanted to do I it. I wanted to work there. I, uh, I had interned at the company, and um, right when I got back to college, uh, they had a layoff. They had gotten stiffed for some money, and, uh, and when I came back, they weren't hiring, and I was like, you know what, I know people here. There's nobody sitting over there. I'm just gonna go sit over there and start working, and eventually somebody will ask me to help with something, and that happened, and three weeks in, uh, one of the owners asked me if I could work on the weekend. He goes, hey, we're putting together this bid for, uh, it was actually for the Jacksonville Jaguars, right? We're putting in this bid to get uh, NFL team. Could you come in on the weekend and work on it? And I just looked at him and went, I, I don't work here. And he went, what? Yeah. And I was like, no, I've just been showing up. I, I'm living with my folks. I, I don't know what to do. And, and I got a call from the president that night of, uh, of the company. And she said, we'll pay you $16,700. And I was like, I will take that money. And I yep. will come to work <laughs> yeah. tomorrow on Saturday. You, you find that thing that when you're doing it, you lose track of time, right? That's when you know that that's what you're supposed to do. And what I would say is, if you don't have anybody paying you to do that, sort of do it for yourself and put it out there and show people what you're capable of and show people what it is you care about. It could be there's a not-for-profit. It could be a guy with a hot dog stand. It could be whatever. But find something that's real enough that it touches somebody else because the big issue I think a lot of people have is they, they build something for themselves and they keep the energy trapped. It has to go out and touch somebody else so that they're like suddenly your ambassador saying, wow, he is awesome at designing identities and that's what he loves to do. Look at what he did with this hot dog cart. You know, whatever it is, however silly it might feel, just work at what it is you love and make sure that it, it touches somebody else.